I don't know if that's a good thing or that's a bad thing. Because a lot of times, well, this is my thing about the whole matter. Okay, this is my thing about the whole matter. This is what I think. If somebody's gay, they're going to be gay. Just because somebody's undercover does not mean they're gay. Just because somebody hiding that they're gay does not mean they're not gay. It just means they're undercover or hiding that they're gay. Understand what I'm saying? Why is this? A seeing somebody on TV that's dressed in drag is not gonna make somebody who's not gay gay. Y'all feel what I'm saying? Understand what I'm saying? Just if you see somebody on TV that's just like okay, because I see a lot of straight shit on TV and it don't make me straight. <laughs> you feel me? Like I didn't not I didn't watch something on TV like damn. I want to be straight now. You feel me? So people have to understand, like, it's not what people see on TV or what they're exposed to that makes them gay or not. It may affect their courage or confidence to come out the closet and be open with themselves. That's what it is. Like, I'm not gonna be real. I'm not gonna be. I'm not gonna lie to you. They coming up. I knew I was something different for me at the age of twelve. But in our city in New Orleans, we had Katie Ray. We had. Sissy Moby, we had these people that was out talking about, uh -huh, I'm a punk under pressure when you finish from and we got proud to be a sissy. And so that gave me the courage to come out and be who the fuck I was going to be anyway. Now, if I didn't have that, maybe I would have probably been in the closet longer. Who knows? I don't know. I can't case it. But, you know, even with me, so I can say, I, you know, you know, just looking at it from, a, a, from an aspect of but I was still going to be gay, even though I was in the closet. And so people look at it like, okay, these, they seen the Lil Nas and Santana's and Frida and uh, these types of, the, the Banty Boys and the Mother Nolan and all of them. And that, because we listen to that type of music or something, it makes us gay. How, I don't understand that. That's not true. That might have made you come out the closet. But that made you gay. And you mad that these people come to, out the closet, but you really shouldn't be mad that somebody come out of the closet. You really should be happy that somebody coming out of the closet. You really should be, what's up, what's up, Luke? They should, they should, you should be happy that people is coming out of the closet because it's you the, the number one complaint that I get from my female friends is girl, I swear if I'm lying, I'm flying. My hoes, they're gonna call me and bring their trade around me to see if I think it's gay or not. I, they, I, they put him through the shaky test every fucking time, bitch. They put their niggas through the shaky test, bitch. I got to go around that nigga. If they get a new trade, bitch, you best to believe, girl. They be like, they, and they know how to give it to you to come in with food, bitch. But I bet you know I cook, girl. Come up and get some. I'm like, girl, you cook, you don't even cook, bitch. Girl, I cook, come get some. So I come through, she got a new trade there. So I say that to say this. The number one complaint from straight females when they find out the nigga that they fucking with is fucking with boys, is that they wish they would've knew. Well, how you gonna wish they would've knew if he never come out the if he, if he don't come out the closet? Girl, let's talk about the realness of it though, real quick. Now I'm talking about shit, but I'm gonna let you know something. The reason why these boys do not come out the closet, I'm about to give it to you wrong because that's how y'all. That's how I like to serve my own. That's how I like to serve it. The reason these boys don't come out the closet is simple. They're not accepted. That's it. That's it. You want them to come out the closet? You want them to stop ruining your lives and ruining and making kids and don't want them and, and want to, they really want to be with a nigga and, and don't want to be with a female and still lying to you and still lying to your people and sending you this false dream? Let me say something. I'm getting, I got two kids. So my dick get hard for women. That don't stop nothing. But, I, but bitch, it get hard for butt too. So... <laughs> Don't think that it's, that it's beyond. Don't think, oh, he got kids, he made kids, this is going to change. That's not going to change him. That's not going to change him. I'm just letting you know. You could give him kids. You could have him, uh, let me tell you something, ladies. I'm about to put y'all on some game. They're not going to like this, but I'm going to tell y'all something. Ladies, check it out. If a man like another man, that's something you can't fight. You can't beat that one. Y'all got, got a lot. Trust me. Y'all got, got a lot. Y'all can work with God bless you with a hot, wet pussy. Some nice softness, beautiful voice, titties, ass, all that good, beautiful softness and stuff. God will bless you with all that. But if that nigga wants a penis, bitch, it's over with for you. 
if that nigga wants some dick, if oh, or that nigga wants some dick or a motherfucker with one, and you can't, that don't fight that battle. Let that one go, sister. That's one you got to tap out of. I'm just letting y'all know. Y'all might not like hit us. You might go fight it. You might want to fight it. So then we can pray it out him and we can bring the church. And what about his family and all the girl? And let me tell you something. He like penis or people with him. Ain't nothing you can do. You ain't nothing. You got to let that one go. I'm sticking my game up in the period. I'm letting y'all know, girl. Y'all might not like to hit it, but this is the fact. This is the fact. These niggas around here, I I done messed with a married man before. I done messed with a man with a woman before. This woman have rode in my car before. Girl, that man ain't never stopped leaving me alone. To this day, I can call that nigga and say, what's up with something? He gonna come. Ain't nothing gonna stop it, girl. Let me tell you why, girl. It's something. It's something. It's voodoo in the doo-doo, bitch. I don't know what to tell you. But if he like it, it because it's something else. It's something else. He don't consider himself gay. He don't act gay. He don't look gay. You'll never be able to tell if you saw him regular. But bitch, don't be don't be fools to believe he busting my big ass up when it's time. And that's just facts, girl. You that's a fight you can't fight, girl. And so for the ladies out here thinking that it, it, it's not something that's it's not something that they're becoming, girl. It's something that's in them. Understand that. It's not something that they're coming to be. It's something that's in them. They already gay. It's just they just didn't come out the closet. And so my thing is, accept it. Now, this is, this is going to be the hardest pill for us to smile at. See, if a man to come out and tell y'all, fuck it, I'm bisexual, or I'm, I like, I'm bi-curious, or I'm trisexual, or whatever. If y'all as women would say, you know what, I can accept that. Let me say something. This is what I think, okay? This is what I think. This is my personal opinion, though, so it don't matter for nothing. It's just my ass, like, it's, it's just my asshole. Like, everybody got one, girl. This is my asshole. So what we talking about, right? Guess what? I think women, you know, men accept a woman who's been with a woman. They accept and applaud that. That's cool. That's okay. But they do not, why do not women accept a man who's been with a man? If he come and be honest with you, say, I was with a man, we used protection, I wanted to experience something, yada, yada, yada. Why would you not accept that? Could you be with a man that been with a man? <laughs> she said, I don't care. Be who you want to be, just don't be with me because I'm going to send you to yonder. Girl, it don't work like that, girl. That's why they don't tell y'all. Because y'all don't accept it. A woman will tell you, well, not no man. You know, I, let me tell you something. Okay. This is real fact to me. Now, they estimate that between 10 and 15% of the population of the world is gay. Or identify as gay. So in my mind, if you add the undercovers and the DLs that don't identify that, I think it's probably about 30%, to be honest with you. While I was in prison, I noticed it was about, about half. It was about right down the middle. Half the niggas fuck with it and half the niggas don't. About half. So I'm going to just say, so can we agree for the sake of argument? I do not have the statistics, but I know it's more than 13%. I know this for a fact. And I know for a fact it's probably a little, a little less than half because prison make men a little bit more adapt to be open when it comes to sexuality. So, so I think that it's somewhere in the middle. Can we agree on, it's more than 15 and less than 50. Can we agree on 30%? Can we agree on that number real quick so I can make a point? Or do y'all want to argue the point of that statistic? Because I, I can if y'all want to. But if we could agree with that, we can move on. So understand 30% of the world, of men in the world, have had some type of homosexual experience. 30%. Let's agree. Can we agree with that? All right. So that means that if 30% means this, if you see three niggas, one of them has had some type of sexual experience. So how many niggas you had in your life? If you had 10 niggas, I don't know how many, I'm not saying you're a whole nothing girl because I can't count a long, count a long time ago. But say for instance, you done had motherfucking 10 niggas. If you had 10 niggas, that means three of the niggas that you had then had some type of experience with somebody, with, uh, somebody of the same sex in some capacity. Whether you knew or not. That is a that is a that is a, a, is that alarming to you? So the the thing is, what I'm saying is, in a way, you have already accepted that. In a way, do you? It, so you have already. So you might, you got you you have already accepted it, whether you accepted it or and not knew, but you accepted it. 
Now, I'm praying. Now, we have heard horror stories. We heard horror stories about the men having wives and messing with this dude and catching something and bringing it to the wife and all that. We've heard all that. But we're not talking about that right now. We're, and that's a whole other conversation. I don't want to have that conversation right now. Well, the conversation I want to have is in reference to I'm dropping them in this fucking car. Girl, the floor's going outside. Girl, I'm like, wait, what the fuck that is? In this motherfucking car. Um, the conversation I want to have is that the solution to that, do you think it's, I think it's fair that you as a woman should know about it? So the reason why the man don't want to tell y'all is this. I'm about to tell y'all. If a man come out and be like, yeah, you know, I fuck with a nigga. Y'all not going to fuck with him. So he wants to fuck with you, but he ain't going to tell you that. His homeboys, they're not going to fuck with him. He ain't going to play basketball and uh, football with the fellas no more and watch the game. Because they're not going to fuck with it. They don't want to accept it. His mom and his sister and them and all they talk about punks and this, that, and the other. They're not going to accept him. They're not going to accept him in his church home. They're not going to accept him in his, his home home. He might could lose his job. They don't accept him. And then when you think about the climate of today when they just took away the women's abortion rights, what's next? Is it, is it LGBTQ plus rights? Which is the thing? So that's even showing that society don't accept it. So why, why would I want to come out? And I know you don't accept it. And I know I'm not going to be accepted. All of us, when, even when we think about social media, we think about things like that. It's all the time we're thinking about acceptance. All this is stuff we think about. Oh, like my picture. Oh, share my post. It's about acceptance. I want to be accepted. I want to be in. And so when we craft a world, this is why the rates of suicide for the LGBTQ plus youth is 10 times higher than the national average. And for trans, it's 17 times higher than the national average. Because we don't accept. You have straight parents trying to raise gay children and don't know how to accept them. One of the most shameful things as a father to a, to a son is to have his son come out and be gay. And so this is why I applaud. I really do. Now, I understand that people talk about the Bible and stuff like that. We can get to that in a minute. I don't want to have that uh, actual discussion. Right? Yeah, we can fuck that. We can have that discussion. I got about 30 more minutes before I'm making some of my destination. Um, let's have that discussion. And I have been with women, but if my man tell me that I'm going to need you, why? From a male, you watched it. If anybody want to come over and tell a story, I want to hear that. I want to. I want to. Like, I would like to hear that. How can you accept? Come up and you don't have to clam up. You can calm down. But tell me how is it for you to be with a woman? Oh, baby. Hello. Bring me you an apple sauce. Maybe she'll eat an apple sauce. Maybe she will. She might, I didn't like the apple sauce. What's wrong with it? Hello. You know you up here? You know you up here? We see you in the corner. Hello? Oh, yes, you don't see shit. I know he's so on my phone. All right. I can't, why do I, I can't remove him? Like, you gotta remove this but I can't remove him. You better exit out yourself. Oh, I got it. All right. Listen, I want to know why is it acceptable for you to be have been with a woman, but would I accept a man who's been with a man? I don't know what, what's the what's the difference. If you want to be real with me, I didn't know what was going. That's all right, baby. We're good. You go get a baby some applesauce, girl. <laughs> so listen, what's the difference? What's less gay? If if you've been with a woman, that's homosexuality. That's a homosexual act. That's cool, though, huh? What's the difference? I'm trying to figure out the difference. Let me know. So I know what it is. He was getting hit from him while he was eating me, and I know he do it trans, and I still like him. That you a different type of breed. Come talk to me about it. I want to hear what y'all got to say about that. What's that? I want to know about that. I, 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 you know, especially from somebody, like, you know what I'm saying, that, that, Oh, you declined. I knew there was a difference. This I don't I usually even ask people, oh, come on, this is your chance to come up and tell me what the hell is going on. Because I don't I want to hear about how that goes. You can't, I understand, no problem. But you can cam down, I you don't have to cam up, girl. I wouldn't tell you cam up, but I would love to hear about how that is. I'm sorry, except me again. <laughs> 
I'm trying to do it again. I'm trying to do it again. I just felt a difference. Okay. It was different. It was different. It was different. It was different. Of course. But also, it was something that man, it, you gotta it's 2022. Girls like girls, that's cool. We gotta if, if people wanna be who they wanna be and love who they wanna love. I was just talking to somebody in uh, Africa, and there's a law against homosexuality. I'm like, how could you make a law against who somebody loves? Let's start here. I want to have this discussion, for real. Maybe not tonight, but I want to have this discussion. I want to see what y'all think. Let me know in the comments right now. People born gay, or they, were they born gay, or did they become gay? They said, you're never going You would not mess with a man who was gay. OK. I don't care what a person like. So what? I don't have any judgments when it comes to, I see I let people be free. Do you think people are born gay, or do you think they become gay afterwards? That's, the, that's what, let's start with, that's where it starts at. Whether they were born gay, or they become gay. Both. OK. I think they become gay, but I don't know. Okay. Born. Okay. Or both. Okay. My son was born gay because he was two when I noticed. What made you notice? My grandma used to say the same thing. My grandma said she knew I was gay before. Like, she, she, my grandma never called me anything but sugar shit. She used to call me t sweetie, sweetie, took the pot, took the roll. Bubble, like anything that was with candy or sugar or honey bun. Not because I like the sweet. That's my, I don't think my grandmother never called me my name for it. I never heard. I can't remember if she did. She was oh, like, sugar plum, come get you. I never heard of my grandma and whatever, whatever. Become. I think they become gay kind of how they was raised. It's already in them. I think they become gay. I think they choose to like what they like. You can see it in your kids. It's the thing you see. What is it that you see? I would love to know. I'm asking because I, I of course, I didn't see myself growing up with what people were seeing in me, but obviously some people saw. You can't help who you love. I just like, but I do believe it's there from birth. Okay. Good. I like y'all answers. I really like y'all answers. Those are some great answers. Um, my daughter gay, and it doesn't bother me, but like the old folks don't understand it. Right, right. He only wanted to whole thing pussy and always put on his sister shit. Yeah, he walked. Okay. Feminine quality. I have a cousin, but he but that was born gay. He had female wings as a baby. Okay. Feminine wings. Alright. So check this out. It, it, it's my opinion, my asshole, that I believe that strongly that People who are truly homosexual um, are born gay. I believe I was born gay. I do believe it. My first attraction was to a man. I, when I started to have attraction, I didn't even see women as a. I saw women as my like my sister girls. Like I love, I could see a woman's beauty, but it not do anything for me as attraction. Like I could see a woman and be, I was like, oh, she's so beautiful, she's so fine, and appreciate her beauty as a woman. But I never was attracted to it in a sense. Like I was attracted to a man. When it comes to making my dick hard, bitch, it was, it was a man. And so for me, I don't know what, that's not coming from no, I didn't learn that. I didn't become that. And in, in the case of my environment, yes, I had some three very strong women in my life. My grandmother, mother, and sister. However, I had some, I had six equally strong men. <laughs> I had my father, my four brothers, and an uncle who was all there, always there all the time. So at the end of the day, I was all, it was all men in my, in, you know, <laughs> so for me, I had double the strong men. I remember fo I, football Sundays, like all Saturdays in college, girl. You know, I know, I know a lot about football and stuff and sports, like at the end of the day. And I just like, so for me, it was definitely not a situation. I never was, I don't have a story about being touched, molested, raped, or I don't have them stories. So for me, where they had to come from was you had to be born that way because the, my earliest memories of attraction have always been to men. So that's for me speaking of somebody who is living the life of a gay male. I don't consider myself a woman to know that I perpetuate to be one. Now y'all might have me say queen and girl and stuff like that. 
But at the end of the day, I know that I'm anatomic and biologically a man, and that it's a different physiologically from a woman. I don't have a, when you talk about people that have the things that believe that they're women, that's trans, and that's something that's psychological, and it's how they self identify. Now, I might be like, I don't care if somebody say girl, let the girl that. Oh, I don't care if somebody say he, this, he, that. None of that bothers me. Whatever pronoun you want to use. Uh, but don't, you know, but as far as like for me, but I can honestly tell you, bitch, that I strongly believe that from my personal experience with homosexuality, my first experience with a, with a man, I don't, listen, the first time I used my dick on somebody, it was with a man. The first time I saw a dick, bitch, it was with a man. The first time I had any type of sexual experience was with a man. And I, and I, and I ain't been able to stop. Now, I haven't had a sexual experience with women, but it was never the same. It was like almost like forced. I mean, outside of maybe like eating pussy. I, for some reason, I love to eat pussy, but that was a, like, you know, something that's a, a completely different. I love, like, like, that turned me on. Like, I like, like, okay, girl, I, I don't want to go show a lot. But we just talking, right? It's just us, right? We just gonna talk about it, okay? We just talking. All right, so <laughs> would you change if you could? Yes, I thought so a long time ago. I think my life would have been, my, I grew up in the 90s, but I think that my life would have been much different if I was straight. And then a lot of times I wanted to be straight. Um, to be honest with you, I wish I was straight a lot. I don't know if I still feel that way. I think I'm comfortable with who I am now. I think I'm comfortable with my own skin now. I think I'm comfortable with my sexuality now. But there was a time in my life where I wanted to be straight. I, was, I prayed to be straight. I asked God to make me straight. I wanted to be straight. I didn't want to live this life of ostracization. I grew up in a family of brothers, bitch. I wanted to be normal like everybody else. I did. I wanted to be just as normal as everybody else. I didn't, I didn't, I didn't, because I felt like I didn't choose this. I don't think I ever took, like, that's why when people say it's a choice, like, if that's the case, I want to choose to be straight. Can I get a redo? Like, I don't choose this. I choose on how I present myself or how I act about it. Yes. I choose on whether to tell people or live my life openly. That's what I choose. But I don't choose who I'm attracted to and I don't choose who I love. But there was times in my life when I wanted to be straight. How do you explain this to your kids as a gay father? Um, for my daughter, it, uh, so, and as a gay father from my son, it's like, it's about that time. We just had that conversation. So uh, I don't know really right now. So the answer, like my daughter just kind of knew and it was just like, Okay, whatever. <laughs> she don't care. <laughs> she, she actually liked it. Um, I've let her meet one of my boyfriends before. I'm very particular about that. I let her meet one of my boyfriends before. She didn't like him, but she was just excited to finally meet somebody that I was dealing with. Only because only it's easy to be accepted. There you go. Accepted. That's the key word. Accepted. As a straight man, I would have been a lot more accepted than a gay man. When somebody is gay, openly gay, especially, especially when I was coming up, not, not so much now, but back then, it was such a predisposition on that. It was such a, you can't do this, you can't do that, you can't, you know, you know, there was so many no's. You know, you couldn't expect to have a decent life, you couldn't expect to be happy, you couldn't expect uh, to, to, to chase your American dream. There was no American dream. Do you like yourself around them? Do you act like yourself? I act just as, I act just as much as I'm acting to you now. Now, I don't, I, I don't, my son is never to see me in nails and makeup or when I'm doing that ultra drag type shit, no. Uh, to be honest with you, just be honest. But uh, I have done, I have, I act like, I don't consider, me personally, I don't consider myself all that fucking feminine, to be honest with you. My voice is very deep. I can you know, I don't, I don't, consider, like, I'm very much so a tough gay guy. Um, for the most part, I dress as a guy. I don't be like, like me personally. And so um, I went with comfortable most of the time. You know, I don't see myself, like, I don't really do, like, you know, um, every now and then I'm, you might get a little queen out session. I might just, girl. But as far as just, like, you know, my characterization, as far as around them, do, I can say there are times when I don't queen out. I'll say that. But I would say that, you know, so the queen and out is to a minimal. But it's definitely not like, oh, I'm changing up my whole, Motif and like, ah, oh, look, I'm acting like, look, what's that? Good, you know? Like, I turn into my brother, that'll never happen, girl. I'm still me about everybody. I'm still me. Like, you gonna still get this. I don't, it's not no extra. It ain't no, it ain't no extra, no lesser, or no, like, you know what I'm saying? I might, you might, you know, instead of 10 queen outs, you might get three, you know? Because he said he haven't had the talk with him. 
girl, you kind of said it right. But I don't think, you know, you know, it's a long story, and I'm not getting into that because that's not my story to tell. But, you know, it's like, I feel like personally, it just comes from, I, I think that me personally, I think that when it comes to anything, I have did what I can do to make the people around me well-rounded and aware. The people that's in my orbit in that capacity, whether it be my brothers, whether it be, whether it be my sister, whether it be my parents, whether it be my nieces, my nephew, my kids, my bams, my just anybody, my cousins, anybody in that orbit around me, I have always like advocated for acceptance and understanding. Like I always have an ability to like kind of just listen, this is what it is. Like no matter how mad you get about what it is, number one, it doesn't affect you. And so number two, it shouldn't accept it. It shouldn't, it doesn't affect you, so it shouldn't upset you. What doesn't affect you shouldn't upset you. You feel what I'm saying? What's going listen, what's going on in your house with your nigga? If you riding dick or taking a missionary, bitch, it's on you. That doesn't affect me, so it should upset me. And a lot of times when it comes to issues of tennis of sexuality, now if it does affect you, then we have issues. If you're a parent of a gay person, if you're a nigga cheating on you with a, a man or something like that, it affects you, so you have a, a voice to speak on. But for somebody that doesn't affect or doesn't it shouldn't upset you, like why should it matter what two people are doing that don't affect you at all? <laughs> if I miss the comment, I'm sorry. I'm you know, as you can see, I am driving. Girl. Did you know you were bisexual? I don't consider myself bisexual because I don't have relationships really actively. The last time I had a, the last time I slept with a woman was not this past February, but a February and something ago. It was about a year, like a year and something, a year and a half ago, basically. Yeah, it's a year and a half ago. I haven't I haven't slept with a woman since in 18 months. That's number one. Um, so that's one. I haven't dated a woman, I've been in a relationship with a woman since 2006, 2007, maybe. So, do I, um, so the question you're asking me is what? Do I consider, I don't even consider myself bisexual, to be honest with you. I don't consider myself bisexual. Like, even when it comes to sexual relationship with a woman, it still doesn't, it's just like attraction to me. I gotta really force myself to fuck her. Not even, I, I, I have, I have never, I have never fucked a woman in the ass. Yes, I have a lot, but I didn't even. It, it was that's how inconsequential it was. But anyway, I don't like look at a woman like I want to fuck in the ass. I want to do that to a man. But as far, <laughs> I had an ex tell me he had some same sex relations. I knew I asked. It was years after we dated, but I knew. And when he explained, it understood how that could happen. Drugs. I still know a trick. Okay. I've always listened to a gay man's hands down. You're supposed to love them regardless. And I do. Well, I mean, first of all, every woman's supposed to have her uh, hum. It's supposed to have that one gay ace from cool. If you don't have a gay ace from cool, bitch, you not, girl, I'm sorry. You got to have that one that you rely on for these types of conversations, number one. And number two, who else is going to tell you all the see, bitch, and tell you what's going on with them trades that y'all be sleeping with? If you ain't got a gay free, you lacking, girl. You got to get you one, girl. I ain't gonna tell you no lie, girl. You got to get that one girl. If you don't have at least that one girl, you missing out. I'm just letting you know. Ask my friends. <laughs> and then I be getting mad at my friends that they have other gay friends because I don't like that shit. I mean, girl, I really do. Because you ain't gonna have no, you model me. Okay? Oh, you got three? <laughs> Period. You gotta have at least one girl. If you ain't got at least one girl, stop the extra live girl. You got homework to do, girl. Go find you one. Go to the game park. Go chill with them and see, and see if you can find your, a, good, a, good, a good gay Judy, bitch. Who else is going to tell you, girl, that outfit is hideous? The other hoes going to lie to you because they're really jealous of you. The gay guy is telling you, bitch, that is a mess, girl. You need to go back up in there and change the fucking shoes. That's what they're going to tell you, bitch. And you need that, bitch. You need that, that brutal honesty that come with a gay friend. It's like you need to have that. Just like I think, and no shit, I think all gay people should have a couple of straight friends that just give them and keep them grounded. My straight friends do that to me. They keep me grounded. You know? One of my best friends who brings all the drink around. We have a lot of fun together. Bitch, they know the trade, bitch. A true gay person know the trade, bitch. They don't have to do a motherfucking thing, bitch. They just, it's like a magnet to the bitch. They just know, bitch, bitch, I know. And so I like, but like my straight friends really keep me grounded. I appreciate them a lot. 
I really do. I, y'all don't see me, and I really don't hang with a lot of gay people. Gay people, you say like me for some reason, because I, my, my thing was, with me, I was in a relationship as a, with a man before I knew what gay was. And to give good advice, good fashion to, and good sex to. Okay. Gay men pick and choose what they tell. And a lot of these young boys messing, yeah, they, now they messing, you have to deal with that. And hate. And I'm Muslim, so they're real scared. Oh, God, I'm Muslim, yeah. Now, okay, I will tell you this. One of the down things about being with a gay, having your gay friend, bitch, is that bitch gonna be messy, bitch. I don't know now what gay person don't have that gene. It's like a gene, a chromosome in that bitch. If a nigga messy like them old, bitch, he's probably gay, bro. He's probably fucking around. Because there's something in us, girl, that just make us messy as fuck. I don't even know where it be coming from, girl. I don't even be trying, bitch. And it just comes to me, bitch. I don't be even, I don't be trying to be petty. I don't be trying to be shady. I do not be trying to be messy, girl. And it just comes, just natural. Bitch, I don't even know how to fuck that work. Girl, it just come natural, girl. I don't know what that is. I be asking God to take that out my spirit, girl. That petty, messy, shady ass shit, girl. I be asking God. I don't know if that's a demon, bitch. Or uh, bitch, it was something in the chromosomes, bitch. But every, like, you, that's one thing. I'm going to just warn y'all ahead of time. Girl, get you a gay friend, bitch. Be prepared to be in some mess, bitch, because it's coming. Bitch, it's coming, it's coming, it's motherfucking coming. Girl, them posts be messy, girl. I'm one of them, bitch. I'm that one, bitch. Oh, it's dick it, and ears, bitch. It's going to carry it, bitch. Oh, child, I'm sorry. I don't know where that come from, girl. But you got to take the good with the bad. Everybody got, got, everybody got some good and the bad in them. But they, girl, it's a messy gene in them old. And I'm one of them, bitch. I'm, <laughs> the old is me, bitch. Messes all I do is for no reason, bitch. Don't even know why, bitch. No one I can stop, girl. I be talking about people, girl. Girl, if you catch me, like, when I'm just, like, with my people, girl, and I'm just talking about people. Like, if y'all think I'm messy on social media, girl, y'all have no idea, bitch. Girl, when I get on the phone with my girls and I be just be running it, girl, I be talking about everybody. Like, my shit don't stink, bitch. Like, I ain't got no skeletons in my closet, girl. And I be ringing the whole couple. Girl, if I say some of the things, girl, I be so scared that these are call me, bitch. It is the message, too. This is so it works. <laughs> okay, yeah, but I, I made the mess work for me. But girl, <laughs> ooh, child. Messy for nothing, girl. No reason. Bitch. Ain't got nothing to do, girl. Find out something, girl. Be calling, bitch. Girl, let me tell you what this bitch did. Girl, listen. I swear to God, I'm so fucking. Girl, <laughs> did I have, I really got this, y'all. This is a real talk. These are stupid I'm talking about, right? I have strippers that don't like each other. I know they don't like each other, right? Two of my good dear Judas, two of my good dear friends, girl, I love them both, but they do not like each other for nothing. I wish I could get them to like each other, but they don't. Okay, they really do. If I try, they don't. Girl, if I'm lying, I'm flying, bitch. And I know this, girl. I know they don't like each other, girl. If I don't sit there on the phone with one and talk about the other and then sit down with the other and talk about the other girl, my name ain't shaking, girl. And my mess ass be doing it, girl. I need to stop. Bitch, I'm not lying, but I swear to God I do this. And I get off the phone like, girl, why did I do that? And then one time I had found out something about one of them. Let's just call her Sipper A, girl. And this is sad, girl. This is so sad, girl. Sipper A, girl. Sipper A, I had found out some stuff, girl. I straight called Sipper B, bitch. I'm like, girl, you would not believe, girl. And then, girl, but look, I'm fed up. I will say this, girl. I am fed if I'm going to spill one tea, I'm going to spill both teas. They both going to move everything about each other, bitch. I'm going to spill it, girl. But I do that for no reason, girl. That's sad, girl. That is so sad, girl. That is so sad. I got to feel like that. And then it finds to the same function. No, I ain't going to turn up for her. Okay. And, I'll do, and that's the kind of shit I'll do, girl. Y'all going to come out there. Y'all coming, coming out. Fuck all that. Y'all coming out with me, girl. I say what I say, girl. And I'll be the girl. Y'all coming, bitch. Y'all is coming, bitch. <laughs> okay? Y'all coming, bitch. Period. What's up, just Jiry? What's up, dope girl, Sean? Girl. Girl, that's tired, girl. I'll be looking at my... I say, you be messy for no fucking reason, you messy, bitch. You messy fat ass. I'll be talking to myself like, girl, you just a fat, messy bitch for no reason, bitch. What's up, Queen Petty? <laughs> no, Queen Petty is not you, girl. Don't block me, girl. It's not you, girl. No, girl. I mean, messy. They pick and choose what they would tell. And so I had a gay man that want me to be out here 
make it bad because the king is silent and the hate is real because the love is real. Now, I don't know if... Now, there is just some punk that's just trifling, girl. Some of these niggas is just nasty and trifling for no reason, girl. This one, I can't say. Like, right. Now, we hear the Bible stories and stuff like that of certain homosexuals, we're not going to say no names, certain ones of the bounce gay community that will lay up that bitch and motherfucking, you hear me, do a lot, do extra, be playing with these niggas' band and all this other shit like that. You don't have any stories about me, and that's what I love. You don't have no stories about me having no sliding no niggas here unless they make a fuck with you that. He got side of my dick, but I'm not going to slide it with you. He is going, like, you know what I'm saying? It's going to be like, you got a motherfucking, like, that's not, you don't have them stories. If I, I don't, but see, I, me personally, let me tell you something. This is real fact, girl. We was listening to the other day. I don't know, you know what's on some other, I'm going to pull it up real quick. There's a story, I forgot the guy's name, but it was in Philadelphia. Oh, my God, what was the guy's name, girl? Oh, let me see what's in my history. Let's listen to it real, real quick, y'all. It's about a guy in Philadelphia, right? That, uh, where's my history? I'm not going to watch it either. I'm not going to watch it. History, okay, you all. Let's see. So, I probably have that because I don't know. Let me see. How can I either pay? So, the guy in Philadelphia, right, had a boyfriend. And the guy would say he was tired of living in the closet and he wanted to come out with him and his relationship. He killed the boy and burnt him alive. This is really fact what happened. Hold on, let's see, girl. Oh, I want to see this. I want this video, girl. Because I forgot the boy's name. And I shouldn't have said it to him. Oh, girl. I can't find it. I don't know if y'all remember. It was a story. It just happened. Um, Guy Philly, his lover, shot him, burnt him, and dumped his body. Because he wanted to live. You read about that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It just happened probably about maybe last week, girl. This just happened. It's recent. It's 2022. Now, first of all, you did this to this man and killed this man because you didn't want him to come out about your relationship. Not everybody, though. Not just you, the whole fucking world, bitch. Not just your little community, bitch. The whole fucking world. Do you not think that people is gonna go through this man's text messages and see what was going on? Then people went right to the text messages, found the text messages, and put it right together. So this is what I'm saying, girl. I, I, me personally, the dude was DL. He was undercover. He slept with for men and women, according to what I had read. And so because he slept with men and women, this man said he was tired. Of, they both was like 20, girl. They was not. They was young, young girl. This one dude, the one, the dude they got killed here just went to college, bitch. He had just either he just he had just went to college, bitch. Or he was just about to graduate or something like that. And so, um, girl, oh girl, that was so, that, that hurt me to my heart because I done messed with a DL trade before. I have I just was recently messing with these DL trades, girl. And that's just I, girl, no man. These because they because of that acceptance word, bitch. They'll really kill you, bitch, because they don't want to even live their life. They don't want to live their... And this is the true part about it. They don't want to live their life without you. They don't want to stop messing with you. They want their cake and eat it, too. They don't want to leave you alone. Just don't be gay. You can't come out of the closet, don't be gay. Just go fuck home. Like, what the fuck? You know what I'm saying? Just go fuck home. What the fuck is you worried about if, if somebody is, like, you know what I'm saying? Because the one of the dudes, he was living his life. He was like, I'm coming out of the closet. I want to live my life. It is what it is. I'm gonna come out about our relationship. It is what it is. I'm not gonna live in the high no more. Apparently, supposedly in the text messages, it was like the dude was like, either I'm coming. If you all stay fucking with me, I'm gonna come out, right? Or, or stop fucking with me. And so that wasn't cool. He didn't want to stop fucking with me, and he didn't want to come out. How you don't want me to come? How you don't want me to come out the closet? But bitch, you don't want. Me, but you. But you don't want to let me go. That's stupid. That's like that's, and that's like, and 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 literally when I, I was listening to the story, I was like, damn, I've been in that situation before with a nigga that this nigga got mad. We used to fight. If I talk to another nigga on a, I could be on the internet. Let me tell you something. This is real face. I swear to God. 
This is not, I, look, I really, this man, this man fought me hard. This happened about in 2019, 2020, 21, 20 or 21, I can't remember exactly when. But there's a video, right? If you go look at it, and it's going to say, like, shake it for with Caesar scissor hands. Now, Caesar, if y'all don't know who that is, he do hair. But him and Sausage Day Taylor used to be smack and smacking or whatever the case may be. But I go in his life and joke with him sometimes. Now, I have, now, I, I had, not, at that time, I had never ever met Caesar or nothing. But I'll go on his live sometimes, just joking with him and be flirting with him because he got a big, big dick, bitch. He got a big old dick, right? Now I'm online, really just entertaining. Like I'm not finna. Like I, I never. Not, I ne we only know Caesar got a big dick because go look at the video. But we only know Caesar got a big dick because he'll be online with his dogs, on, bitch. I never seen his dick ever. I never seen his man dick. I couldn't tell you a man or woman for real, nah, bitch. From what we seen the motherfucking Charles, bitch, it look like he got a motherfucking a wah ba ba loo ba for wah bamboo, bitch. But listen, so I'm on live joking with Caesar some ass, right? Not really, but you know, flirting, just kicking with the people, kicking with the comments, kicking with him, just kicking, right? As I would normally do, just like yeah, and you know, saying stuff, you know me, I'm shaking. It's really, really for fun. I don't know how people take me seriously for nothing, girl. I'm such a fucking comedian and jokester that undercover. Like, how do you ever take me seriously for something? Like, for something like, you know what I'm saying? It's just weird to me that people ever take me seriously for something. Like, <laughs> like, my, like, to me, laughter is the best method. Bitch, I have been through the rigor. I've been robbed. I've been raped. I've been, bitch, I've been prison. Bitch, look, they're trying to send me back. Bitch, I got, bitch, the only cure for that bitch is comedy. It's laughter for me. Half the time, only my way of getting through the motherfucking day, bitch, is to laugh at something on myself, bitch. Something, bitch. I don't think if it wasn't for laughter, bitch, I would not. I couldn't make it, bitch. I'd have been jumped off the motherfucking GNO. For real. <laughs> so at the end of the day, bitch, I motherfucking, I motherfucking Joseph with Caesar to the hands, bitch. Make everybody laugh. I'm talking about bitch, because I ride that dick and all this other stuff like that. Girl, that boy came to my house and whipped me, bitch. I will never forget that, bitch. He came to my motherfucking house. The outrage. You don't even motherfucker, you undercover. This boy whooped me, girl. For that motherfucking bitch, I stopped going live with Caesar, bitch. I don't know what the fuck. <laughs> bitch, that boy, I ain't even gonna lie to you, bitch. That was domestic abuse, bitch. I felt some type of way, bitch. I got whooped by that boy. There was, if you remember though, you ain't saw me live for a long time. And when you did see me live, I'll be sure I would be doing that. You know what I'm saying? I wouldn't be showing my face. You remember that? If y'all remember that, that was a while ago, bitch. I was like, you know how you can do this here on here? How you do it? You can do this? I was doing this for the longest. I was doing that for a longest, bitch. I got whooped, bitch. That boy whooped the fuck out of me. I'm dark, so it don't look so bad when I got black eyes and stuff. That boy whooped the fuck out of me, girl. I'll never forget that. Over, over me flirting with Caesar from the hands online. Somebody saying fucking Tampa Florida that I don't never fucking see. So how the fuck you, how the fuck you, how the fuck you, you know what I'm saying? How the fuck it's like, I don't understand these dear niggas. I don't get it. What you want? Girl, that's why I don't mess with them, girl. Give me a bush queen, girl, any day of the week. What did they, what did they just walk into? No, I was talking about one time I was on live flirt with Caesar. Caesar said he do hair. He from Tampa. He, he, he cute, dude. He cute. He very fine. Get a big dick. If you ever pull it out, bitch, I'm sucking it, bitch. It is what it is. I'm grown, bitch. I'm grown and single. I do the fuck I want. But, bitch, if you ever pull it out, bitch, I'm going to suck it. But I was joking with him on the internet one day, just joking in my DL trade. A nigga that's undercover with a girlfriend. A girlfriend. Not my DL trade. Everybody DL trade. Put it like that. With a girlfriend. You can't take me flirting on the internet that you're coming with me. Like, that's weird. And then a lot of times I'll be like, I'm not fucking with you no more. I'm not fucking with you. This is what I came to my house, bitch. Y'all remember, girl? I don't know if y'all remember. This bitch that kicked out my dope, broke my dope. Bitch, me and that this man, and we don't we fight one time, pop out my nails off, girl. It was just so much, girl. It was so much. I'll be trying to leave that boy. He just had some demon penis, bitch. That demon penis is a motherfucker, girl. That demon penis like you, girl. You put up with anything and everything. Fucking with that demon dick, girl. Oh my god. You will put up with anything and everything for demon dick, bitch. Demon dick, you better too, girl. When you be getting that demon dick, bitch. I don't know how we even get on this subject, but every time, y'all know one thing, girl. On this live, we're going to talk about penis. If you don't like talking about penis, this might not be the live for you. I got them great cakes, girl. Ain't nothing good about these cakes. These cakes are great. Girl. 
Dead nigga. I ain't gonna lie to you. That motherfucking demon. But it wasn't just his demon dick. I'm not gonna say that. I'm gonna take that back. His dick was, he got some demon dick, bitch. It was great. I ain't gonna lie to me. It was good dick. But it was just like how he used to treat me too when he was, when we was all good times. When it was good, it was really fucking good. But when it was bad, bitch, it was really fucking bad. I started to expose that bitch and everything, but I was scared, though, bitch. I thought that boy was going to, bitch, I, I couldn't see him coming to my motherfucking house and knocking me in my shit, girl. Because he, cause he'll come and bite me real fast. I ain't going to lie to y'all. I ain't going to lie to y'all, bitch. I kept that secret. I felt good just letting that out just now, y'all. No shade. Thank y'all for the therapy session. <laughs> I need to get that out of my system, girl. Because, you know, we, I'm not in that situation. Or I'm not in that situation any longer, so it doesn't affect me as much. I still talk to him, though. I ain't going to even say he ain't lying to me. But something that happened to him that keeps him away from me, I'm going to leave it at that. But, girl, I was, girl, I was just, girl, because you, you, it was like you playing with my heart. Like, I can't go on in my life and be happy. I can't go on in my life and be happy at all. Because I got, I can't, you can't let me have my happiness. You'll never let me have my happiness. That's number one. And number two, you never let me have my happiness. And when I did get my happiness, bitch, it's like you come, you want to be part of it. And so when I'm just asking you, just let me go. I don't want to do this. I don't like no fucking DLA shit. I don't want to, girl, it, it was, girl, I really, once I, now don't think, I'm not going to, now listen, before y'all just going to think I'm a weak pussy ass bitch, girl, I used to get with him too, girl. I done bopped him once or twice too. One time I bopped him, girl, we was there, we was there, girl. One more or some fucking where we was there. Some, I can't remember exactly where we was there. It was like one of those stores. We were doing something, bitch. And so he get in the car, bitch. And when he get in my car, he pull a seat back. He pull a seat back. Like, bitch, you don't want to be seen, bitch. Uh-uh. You got me fucked up. And so, bitch, I bopped him, girl. And we had a fight right here in this motherfucking car. So I, dom I domestic abuse, too. I, like I told y'all, like, it's not, it don't make it right. It do not make it right. But bitch, don't put no fucking seat back, bitch. That, that, that dumb ass, broke ass, ugly ass bitch you fucking with, bitch. Girl, let me stop. Girl, cause I used to, I used to be mad at the girl. I used to be mad. She ain't did me nothing. This girl didn't do me nothing, girl. I used to be mad with her. Yeah, you had a girl. Yes, he started the fuck D. You had a girl. Girl, if y'all was on the go, if y'all was on bigger with me, girl, I was driving his truck with that bitch. We did a whole inspection of the truck, everything. I found out the apartment she stayed in because he had the key code, the key card that let you get in the apartment. I had to keep going, bitch. I took a screenshot of that and everything. Bitch, used to go sit, him, go used to sit outside our apartment complex to open our seat that bitch. I used to be mad with this though. This girl that did me nothing, nothing, nothing. I used to be mad with that bitch. Oh, girl, I used to want to bop her. She ain't do me that. That's weird. It's a weird that and that shit. It play with your emotions, girl. And I used to, girl, it still makes me no better. Y'all used to, uh. Y'all used to egg me on with it, girl. Let's go. Girl, what you mean, girl? Y'all supposed to be telling me, no, girl, stop. Girl, y'all too, let's go. Girl. That shit is crazy, girl. Y'all used to be with the shits, too, girl. That's what Sim Nation was with the shits, bitch. We was with the shits for real. <laughs> girl, we was with the shits, girl. That's them days over, girl. We grew up, girl. <laughs> I popped him in his shit. You honor. <laughs> I sure the fuck did. I bopped that hoe. Bitch, don't play with me. Putting no motherfucking seat back and I'm in the car. Bitch, I'm shaking. I bopped that hoe, girl. <laughs> I sure did. Girl, I bopped him. Fuck that. <sighs> it was something. All right. <laughs> Man, y'all jokes with me for like two hours, girl. I fuck with y'all on IG. I have to come do this again sometime. We had us a nasty old little conversation, bitch. Ain't really about nothing. We just run it, girl. You know what I'm saying? We just run it. Um, so I'm at my destination, y'all. I'm about to go. I love y'all. I will talk to y'all later. I'm about to go get on my GTA. Uh, if you follow me on Twitch, you'll see me doing it there. Uh, that's what I'm gonna be streaming it to tonight. So if you do, <laughs> still that okay? And still is period. <laughs> still about the shit. So if you follow me on Twitch, it's MC Shake It Live. If y'all want to see me do some GTA type stuff, I'll be doing that. <laughs> I love y'all too. And so, yeah, we grow. <laughs> I love you, man. It's really nice to talk to you. Oh, thank you so much, Chuck, man. I love you so much. Thank y'all so much. I love y'all. I will talk to y'all <laughs> tomorrow.